what's going on guys we are back in the garage today after going street testing let me give you a little rundown of what happened the other night on the street first thing we are still getting after the tuning of this thing we are doing you know part throttle full throttle full throttle is really pretty good but uh, Derek we're still going back and forth with the logs and making changes and getting everything squared away right where it needs to be so I started out the night by just taking it out on the street driving up and down a little port throttle stuff and then also laying into it going full throttle We wanted to test the boost control. The solenoids are working properly. We put in a number we thought was gonna give us about 10 pounds and it actually gave us 10 pounds, worked out really well. So that went well, did that a couple times up and down the street. And then because my friends were there and they're a bad influence, they said, hey, let's go ahead and get ready to make some hits. And I said, all right, well, <clears throat> the only way we're gonna know, the only way I'm gonna get used to this thing is just to, to get on the horse and ride it. Decided that it would probably be best to go ahead and just make a hit to the 60 foot. Just kinda, you know, get into first, from first to second gear, and once we're in second gear, let out. Go ahead and do that. I've not done a burnout in this car. I haven't tested the line lock. I haven't done any of that stuff. So we went ahead and did the first pass. <laughs> First burnout went a little, eh, there was some issue there where actually uh, we were hitting a safety and I'll tell you guys more about that as we go on. But we were able to do the burnout. The burnout happened, backed it up, and then went ahead to get ready to get on it and let go of the button. At that point, we were hitting a safety cut. Derek has programmed a number of safety cuts in the system, so if certain things don't line up, uh, pressures aren't right, that kind of stuff, it will just do what it did there, as you guys see. It won't let me do anything. It won't let me bring the RPM up. It just cuts the ignition, and we're stuck. Brought it back over by the trailer, looked at the log, tried to figure it out. We were hitting a safety cut for the oil pressure. Part of the issue there was we also had the oil pressure safety set a little too high on pressure and a little too low RPM. We were kind of being ultra, ultra safe on, you know, it should have this much pressure at this much RPM, that kind of stuff. And I didn't really see any issue. Otherwise, I said, you know, I could, I pulled the dipstick. It's got a little ethanol in there. It's probably time for an oil change but I don't think it's the end of the world. I went ahead and changed that setting, uh, that safety, and just moved the RPM up. I didn't move the oil pressure down at all, I just moved RPM up uh, because we were at 3,000. I figured, man, eh, we could be at 4,000, especially if we're gonna launch on the brake at 4,000 right now, that'll work out. I bring it out, do the burnout. <laughs> Thing does a nasty big tire burnout down the street I'm happy I'm ready to go everything is good back it up get on the brake and start hitting the bump now the bump was a little bit of an issue when I tested it in the driveway it worked incredibly well but when the tires were sticky and we were on a good street, you guys can see the thing is just crazy. So I'm gonna have to play with the bumps some more and get those settings right. Then I went to let go of the button. And it's safety cut on us again. At this point, I'm thinking we're just having an oil pressure problem purely because of the fact that there's a bunch of ethanol in the fuel and condensation. I've got a catch can up here that about every two runs or you know taking it out twice, it, it gets a lot of water, a lot of moisture. I think we're gonna end up redoing this system. I'll probably go with a larger line and actually vent it to the back like puke tank style like you see all the guys with methanol cars. I don't think that we necessarily need the puke tank because it's 85 not methanol. The extra 
flow, the extra venting, uh, the extra crankcase pressure coming out, and then also by having it in the back, in case this ever leaks, it's not gonna be in front of the tire. We're gonna put it in a position where it's either behind the tire or in the middle, so it's not getting on the tires. We don't have any issue going down the street. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil. We're gonna take a look at that. If it looks like it's just an oil problem and everything is good there, I might take the car back out tonight because we were supposed to go to a track rental. That's not gonna happen now. It's gonna be raining. So we're not gonna get any track rental time today. There might be something later on in the week where we go to the track. I'll have to wait and see. We'll see how everything pans out and works. But there's not gonna be a track rental. Also, I told you guys about my buddy who was gonna fly out and do all the filming and editing for me this week. Uh, he's been at the airport for over 24 hours now. They have delayed the flight about seven, eight times and eventually canceled it. We can't get him another flight in. If we did, uh, it wouldn't be until another a whole other day. It wouldn't be till like Wednesday. Today's Monday. And at that point, we are really just cutting ourselves short on the amount of time we were supposed to have. It's probably not going to be worth it. We're just going to have to reschedule. So I've got a lot of work to get to. Let's get this oil changed. Let's figure out if that's the problem. Let's take this thing out, drive it around, do what we got to do because then possibly Possibly we can go racing on Thursday night. I don't know that they have a class that I fit in uh, at the local track, but if nothing else, we can go test and tune, maybe get a grudge race, something. Just keep working on shaking down the car and getting used to it because it is definitely a handful. The thing is a riot. It's a ton of fun, but it needs to be respected, and I definitely need seat time to learn it. Let's get to it. See what that looking like. Looks dirty. Definitely thin. Definitely thin. That's for sure. I need to see if I can't get up on there and get a sample of this stuff. Definitely thin. Very thin. I think we found a problem. I think it's just got a lot of ethanol and moisture in it. Alright, well, now that I got the filter swapped out and all the oil out, uh, I'll probably end up cutting the filter open, but, ooh, look at that. You guys see all that moisture? I think the, the answer here is pretty obvious. It is uh, pretty, pretty over ethanoled oil. Oh, and I should have used a funnel. We're going to go ahead and put some, what is that? We're going to go ahead and put some thicker oil in it. I got some Hot Shots Adrenaline R4, which is their 1540. Um, this is their racing line of oils and between that and just having fresh oil and a new filter I really don't see any reason why we should have any more issues I think this one was pretty cut and dry just one of those things we're gonna have to be on top of with the ethanol especially early on while we're still doing the tuning because there's a lot of opportunity for uh, over fueling situations to happen also another thing is that the oil capacity i'm not 100 percent sure on the oil capacity because the pan is six quarts uh, i feel like we should be adding at least a half a quart extra for oil feed and drain lines if not a full quart and then what a lot of guys do with ls's is, is they have windage tray problems uh under load you know under boost and having the oil all the way to the back so I think what we might do is we might go with a total of, let's see, six, seven. We might go with eight quarts. Uh, you'll see, like, talk to any of those guys that broke the LS records, and they'll tell you they run extra oil in their stuff. So I think we're going to end up doing the same. All right. Now that we have uh, got the oil all figured out, I got the Holly communicating. We're going to start logging this just so I can have record of it and we'll see what it does on startup. Actually, let me... I did pre-fill the filter and stuff. Shouldn't be an issue, but a couple turns never hurt. Okay. 
50. It takes a while for this thing to get up to 200 or more. I, I don't even think I can get it up to 200 idling. We'd have to be here forever. Oil pressure is down in the 30s. But still climbing good with throttle. I'm gonna see just how hot I can get it idling here like this and see how far down the oil pressure drops and then make a decision on whether or not we're gonna test it like this or if I need to look for another problem. I think it's okay. As long as it holds oil pressure under RPM. Idle is whatever, but under RPM is the issue. We are on our way up to the test spot now. I wasn't planning on going this early, but it looks like the rain is gonna be coming in. It is gonna rain tonight at some point. Uh, it looks like it's moving in a little bit quicker than what I was ready for and what we were hoping for. I really don't want to make passes in the daylight out there, but if we've got to, we've got to. Now, we've got my brother with one arm. What up? Filming. <laughs> yeah. Wrecked his motorcycle. He's out. We got my brother's friend. Uh, they're about to get a crash, crash course in street racing because I don't think either of them have poured a puddle or lined somebody up before. Absolutely. Uh, but I'm not sure that my other buddy's going to be able to make it now that we are going so much earlier than originally anticipated. So we're going to go up there and hope for the best. Hopefully we can get up there, get it off the trailer. Everything looks good. Hopefully it's dry. There was some reports of the weather of drizzle. I don't know. The only way we're going to find out is get up there. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It looks like it's going to rain. Without the track rental tomorrow, they canceled the track rental. I figured that would happen. You know, there's racing Thursday night. It looks like the only opportunity we're really going to get, I think, is going to be tonight to at least see if it'll make a halfway decent pass, or a, you know, at least to the 60 foot into second gear or something. So here we go. All right, man. So we're pulling up to the spot. Yeah. Looks like weather held through. You got any? Uh, what's your goals for tonight for the run? Well, looks like the weather's going to hold out. The goal is I have not, I've not let off the button under power and it's worked yet just because we were hitting the, the oil safeties and everything. So the goal for tonight is 60 feet, go 60 feet, hit the one, two shift, go from there. If that feels good, if that looks good, if we don't put it on the bumper. Or... If everything works out, then maybe we'll go, okay try to ride out second gear a little bit um, at some point I got to hit the scramble button because we have to figure out how much it is because ours is set up on duty cycle not pounds so we, right now we've got 10% duty cycle on the button but we don't know if that's a pound or four pounds or what it is um, maybe we'll get into that tonight right now it's just the goal is get down the street 60 foot then from 60 we'll go 150 foot then we'll go 300 then we'll you know we'll go for the eighth just babying our way into it getting used to the car i've only done two burnouts in it i haven't done you know haven't made any passes that actually worked so we're just more getting accustomed to it since we can't go to the track tomorrow really our only opportunity especially with the rain coming up the next couple days we might get a chance on thursday at the track but i'd like to be a little more at least a little more confident in the car by then so that's the game plan confidence let's get it
open the trunk, you know. Show me that. Oh, you're seeing it. It, it went up. I it went like, up instantly. <laughs> but it broke the rear almost fucking. Uh -huh. Like it broke the rear five foot out. As soon as you let go of the button, it went. Wow, bam! And you heard the fucking rear. Damn it, man! You that guy that took hey. fifth guy that fucker. He was like, God <laughs> damn! What did it? Because we we started forming a crowd. I wonder what the crowd had to say. What, what nah. Yeah. Hey, huh? guess what? I thought something was dragging. So did I. There's another rear right there. I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that sucks, dude. That thing was getting ready to ride, <laughs> dog. No. I'm not leaking anything. Nah. I, hey, at least I didn't pussy out either. <laughs> I think you just built something there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a drink. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, just a drink. It's not leaking. Oh, that's why I thought it was. It was straight off the trailer. I thought it was straight off the trailer. I was like, ow, ow! Because I didn't know what was broken. I, and I don't know if I hit the oil pan. So that's why I, like, I ran over. I didn't know if, some, if, if it was some in the motor hit yeah, the ground. Yeah, that's why I wanted to like get it on the trailer immediately in case I was leaking oil everywhere. I could at least, because we don't have a winch. Damn, how did that look though? It looks fucking crazy. Oh, man. Time to put the small tire on. <laughs> that's why I didn't want to take to the track man. like that. I know. Uh, what it, you know what it's leaking? It hit the trans, but it didn't do no damage to the place. There's fresh scrape mark on that trans. Damn it, man. Oh yeah. She went up, came down, had some sparks. Got the old fins. She that was rowdy. That was rowdy. Was that what you guys expected? Not at all, bro. Not at all. Fucking crazy. I tell you what. I think Matt owes me a new rain energy. Where's that bottle light? Give me. You got that camera? Give me that bottle light quick. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> yes. Hey, dog. Um, Brian, you guys owe me a new rear. All right. That's all I'm saying about that. You got. You owe me a new rear. So if you want to, you know what I mean, just slide that my way. Damn. Damn, that was about to feel good too. Woo! What did it leave on, you know? Uh, it shouldn't have left on. It was on 10%, so it should have left on gate, like five pounds. You left on an airplane. Woo! <laughs> yeah. We was up. That's where he left. Damn, bro. I, got, hey, I saw. Hey, you Didn't feel bad. <laughs> Damn it, man. Literally rain Josh right now. Look, Matt, look, you got the fucking mark, man. Did I? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> That's your trans right there. Yeah. We're gonna have to give everything a uh, a nice once over. <laughs> yeah, I will check it over. It's we'll open a little bit. We'll open a little bit. Touch it all though. While I swap the rear. Hey, was that me? That's you, bud. Oh yeah, bud. Woo. Yeah. Oh. Got back on her. And now the rain's here, so let's hurry up and get this thing yeah. strapped down. We can talk in the truck. <laughs> Alright guys, it has Kind of started drizzling a little bit. Doesn't matter. I'm done anyway. I'm thinking probably just broken axle. Uh, I, I didn't. I was ready. I didn't lift. The only reason it came down is because it broke the axle or it broke the rear. We, we don't know what's broken yet. But fortunately, there's uh, up front. There's some bars that are actually for uh, a winch strap, and that's what dug into the pavement. That's what really ate a bunch of it. We scraped the oil pan up a little bit, but nothing looks broken. We're gonna have to get it home, get it off the trailer, get it up in the air, figure out what broke, what went wrong. Um, I don't know. Tuner says put a radio on it. <laughs> he said that rear slammed in the ground and it just climbed the ring gear. I've got a whole spare rear. It has a different gear set in it, you know, which at first I was like, ah, oh, we'll just do the small tire on the 456. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. 
Um, I still haven't made a full power. I haven't gone 60 feet in the car yet. The other night, we couldn't get it to leave the line. Now, obviously the oil pressure thing, you know, fixed. We're not, we're not having oil pressure issues anymore. Uh, but first person down the street, first one, you know, first hit, and we tried to see the sky. <sighs> felt great, felt fantastic. Unfortunately, not what we wanted to do. Um, I, you know, I had some fear about the big tires doing something like that. I figured, you know what, with the limiters on the front, maybe, maybe it would be all right. It, it didn't climb too high. It didn't actually hit the bumper. It, it got up pretty high. Had it not broke, we could have looked at the data, come back, and made changes and gotten it to go down the street without, you know, doing crazy wheelies and stuff. Uh, I think I feel pretty confident in that. But I think one of the things we're definitely going to have to do now is put the double adjustable front shocks on so I can slow that front end down a bunch, uh, put the small tire on, figure out did we break a ring gear, did we break an axle, uh, what, do we need parts and pieces from the other rear, are we going to just swap the whole rear, all this stuff I don't know yet, we'll figure it out in due time. But thank you guys for supporting and showing love, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, do the whole damn thing, you guys are the absolute best. We're not going to be down super long. Don't worry about it. I've got, see ya. Unfor or fortunately, I've got a whole spare rear. So it's not like i got to order parts, you know, save up money, order parts, wait for them to come in, blah, blah, blah. We have the parts. Uh, it's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so maybe I'll chill out in the garage and work on it a little bit. There's also a possibility. There's some other stuff coming, some other announcements, so you guys will see that coming up soon. And uh, we'll just rock and roll from there. I think this thing... This thing is going to be a monster once we get it figured out. Uh, not not really what I wanted to do. Should have known better. Should have. Uh, I should have put a lot. The problem is I was going to put a lot of launch retard in it, but I didn't want that exact same thing that happened to happen. Sometimes when you kill too much power off the line, it'll just dead hook and it'll climb the tire. Whereas if you give it a bunch of power, it'll spin. We were in a position where it, it shouldn't have had too much power, but I didn't want to launch retard it and, and just dead stick the tire and then climb up it. We did anyway. It is what it is. It happens. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll be back. I think anybody who just saw that is probably pretty impressed with the car. I can't wait to see what it'll do on a small tire. Uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bro, are you good? <laughs> Bald ass. Go, go with your ass first. <laughs> you gotta go ass first. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> trying, I'm trying to make sure I fucking... Alright, you shouldn't need to steer. Because it should go straight. But the le your left foot is the brake pedal there. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So what's happened is the rear is locked up. Uh, we went forward and back a little bit and then it locked up again So we got to keep going forward and back to try to get it off the trailer All right, go ahead and put it in park I'm gonna have to start it tomorrow Push it forward. Just push it forward Just yep. Just push it forward now grab the thing and now push it forward There you go Bro, I don't know how you get out this shit The easiest way to get out take your right hand put it up here left foot right hand and pull yourself out you gotta, you gotta grab that bar up here yep Dude, swing your leg out <laughs> don't fuck yourself up mister just had sur surgery yeah but my fucking ass burn is still bruised from landing straight on it shit. yeah I was gonna say swing yourself out pull your right arm yeah you yeah. Damn, you want a race car? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Give me like four months. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta put the door back on and cover this up. Because we ain't doing nothing until tomorrow when I can drive it forward and back and hopefully it unsticks itself. <laughs> <laughs>